I'm joined today in the studio by Fiona Gobel. Fiona is a knitter and I'm thrilled to have you here with us today. Thank you. Um, you're a knitter, you're an author and you brought some of your books in with you as well as some of your, your pets. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a bit about the pets. Um, well, I have knitted quite a lot of um, animals. I, I specialise really in knitting toys and accessories. I do not really do garments and coats and big jumpers for adults. Right. Um, so these are my uh, King Cole tinsel yarn pets. These are gorgeous. Um, he's, he's the most popular, my sloth. He's rather lovely, isn't he? Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah. And the newest addition to the crew is the little orangutan. Yeah. It's a rather pale coloured orangutan, although interestingly, the name of the yarn itself is orangutan. Oh, well, there you go. I know they're usually a little bit darker than that, but... Interesting use of this, this fluffy... It's a ooh. really, really nice yarn to work with. Because I think they're called eyelash yarns. Okay. Um, and some of them are really hard to see your stitches on. And if you make a bit of a mistake, they get very knotted when you undo them. But this is really lovely and smooth, very easy to undo and re-knit um, if you make a little bit of a mistake. Um, you just need to be careful sometimes when you're counting the stitches. Okay. Um, but I do give a few little tips in my patterns in on how patterns. to work. So relatively straightforward. Relatively for a, straightforward. For a, for, a, for, a, for a beginner I knitter I think maybe. straightforward. And what's really nice about maybe you're a be beginner knitter is that you're, the seams don't show when you sew them up because they're fluffy. So you don't have to really sew, the, sew them up sort of super neatly and you still get a really nice effect. That's, that's really good news for me because I <laughs> hate the sewing up. No, I, I know. It's, 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 the hard, it's the hardest bit about is the sewing, the sewing together. Well, and being uh, a sewer, I'm not sure why that, <laughs> no. that should be the case. And these little guys, normally the, uh, my friends are crocheting them. Yep, they, they started in Japan, these sort of little toys, and they were crocheted. They've got big heads and little bodies, so they look really sort of super cute in that slightly Japanese, yes. cute style. Um, but I thought I wanted to do something for people who didn't crochet really, so they could still make some cute little animals. Um, and there again, they're, although there's a lot of shaping on them, simple they're quite, stitches. yep, they're simple stitches, they're just in stocking stitch. Oh, wow. And it's just a matter of quite a lot of increases and decreases. A bit of, counting. A bit of shaping and a bit, a bit of, counting, of counting, that's right. Okay, and we've got, we've got Easter, 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 yeah. and Easter Christmas all wrapped up. over there. Christmas over here. I've got a little e-book um, that's available on all sort of usual knitting pattern places. Um, Twenty-one little Christmas knits. So I've got everything from an elf and a tomty. These little Swedish oh yes gnomes are very popular at the moment. His absolutely beard's gone a bit strange. To uh, some holly and even a. Brussels sprout. A Brussels sprout. That's the only way I'm going to like a Brussels sprout. <laughs> yeah, knitted. Yeah, I agree. Me too. <laughs> and I've got penguin and. Gorgeous. That, that's my favourite one, actually. It's, uh, it's Rudolph. Kind of a, a little reindeer. Yeah. A little reindeer. He's gorgeous. Yeah, so he's rather okay. sweet. And we've got an array of books here. So you're yeah. a very prolific author, too. I, I was at one stage the world's best selling knitting writer. I, I may have been overtaken on that in the last year or so. Um, but I've done a range on knitted animal hats. It started, this was my, the very first one that I did was knitted animal hats. Um, so cute. And I've got a range of animals in there. I have 35 projects yes. in all my Wonderful. knitting books. So, um, yes, I'm really sort of racking my brain to find uh, 35 mm. animals I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've done Knitted Animal Cozies. So this is um, a fox, oh, hot water bottle cover, sleeping okay. fox, which um, I was pleased with. It worked nicely. And it's got all sorts of cozies in there and uh, projects from beginner Again, level knitting. Again, very straightforward. Yes. I always, in my books, include some straightforward projects that are accessible for most people levels. on their people on their sort of second or third right. knitting project. Right, so you can understand the instructions. Yeah. Yeah. And this is your latest book. This is my latest it? one, which is knitted animals, socks, and hats. Um, so it's a mixture of socks, uh, booties for babies, right through to socks for adults with big feet. <laughs> How about adults with little feet? <laughs> and that, and that too. <laughs> and are these some of the samples? These are from, some of the from, samples. From so that's one of the simplest. Hats so and that, that this was really suitable for beginners because he's got 
ears, his ears are pom poms. So a lot of oh, I can do pom poms. Yes, uh, pom poms are the, where it's at. Like there's very they, very they popular are. now. They very, again. Really I think because popular. they're achievable. I think they're achievable, and there's a lot of a kind of a bit of an interior. There's a bit of a Latin American vibe around. So there's lots yes, of baskets of decorated with pom poms yes. and uh, bags. So and this is. These are my biggest ones. <laughs> the big socks. So um, they will stretch to a, I don't know, a, a UK size 10, I reckon. Wow. They're lovely. And talking about uh, Latin America, we've got a, a, a very famous lady here. We have. We've got Frida Kahlo here, who um, famous for her monobrow, as much, I think, as her brilliant art. And very, very colourful. She always wore fresh flowers in her hair. She often has a little monkey or a parrot on her oh, shoulder. Right. She had a, a menagerie of um, animals. Yes, yeah, Central American animals, yeah. I think. Um, and she was also, as well as being an artist, she was um, quite a political activist. Right. Um, with her artist husband, they did lots of murals in. I'm trying to remember when she was around. I think she might have died in the 1920s. Well, she's obviously very iconic, yes. and you have a pattern for this. And I have a pattern for that, yes. which details all the little oh, look at this. flowers. And, the, and her jewellery is just um, bits and pieces I had hanging around and picked up for a few pence in um, you know, charity shops. Great. That's great. Well, thank you so much for coming That's to the studio. Right. It's been lovely. It's lovely to meet you.